I just ripped out two eyelashes. Goodbye. If you rip out your own eyelashes, are you still allowed to make a wish? Hello, we are at Cinnabon in American Dream and I am so, so excited. It's morning, it feels great. We're gonna have a bunch of cinnamon rolls today, classic rolls, lots of coffee, lots of drinks. I haven't been to Cinnabon in over 10 years and I'm just so excited to see what do they have on the menu now. I purposely haven't eaten anything sweet, dessert-like, breakfast-like in over a week or so because I wanted to make sure that my sweet tooth was like at its highest potential. Up first we have the cinnamon roll iced cold brew. Okay, so Chelsea had this before me and she looked at me and she did this look, she was like, <laughs> like it was just this all-knowing look of, oh, this is good. And she was trying to get me to take a sip of hers. I was like, no, I need a natural reaction on camera. It has just the right amount of cinnamon in it. They've somehow mastered to make it not a cinnamon cold brew, but a cinnamon roll cold brew where it's creamy. That just tastes like already dessert in a cup. Okay, we're gonna start with the original cinnamon roll. The size of approximately your head or a softball or the size of a big orange. Um, insert list here of what this is the size of. The cinnamon roll was created in 1985, the Cinnabon roll, but it was in about 1984 that they actually started working on developing this beautiful, beautiful thing. It was Rich Komen, who is one of the co-founders of the company, and Gerilyn Brousseau. She was one of the like original bakers who helped develop this cinnamon roll. It took many trials and errors, and I wish I was there for during that time period to be able to test them all, but it took many trials and errors to make sure that it was like the right amount of gooiness, softness, it had the right type of icing. It was a lot, a lot of work that went into creating this beautiful thing. And now we can try it. I'm, I've had this before. I'm not gonna try to lie to you guys about it. And now the one question we did have when we were about to eat this was, what is the correct way of eating a cinnamon roll? Do you do layer by layer? Do you cut it? Do you, you know, rip it apart? I'm using a fork and a knife simply because I don't feel like washing my hands right this second, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One second, I'm, I'm gonna do something terrible and cut to the center. <laughs> This is my cinnamon roll. I can do whatever I want. I wish there was a better word than oozing for this, but it's just falling out. All of the icing, the cinnamon, the butter. And the icing's kind of like a lemony icing. Oh my God. You know when you have like an undercooked cookie, or just like slightly, or you're just out of the oven, that's what it is, where it's just so soft. Tender. Do we have to go to the next one? I just want the icing in a tub. And I just want to sit there and eat it in front of the TV while I watch The Bachelor. We just had Big Bon. Now we're having Mini Bon, which is actually the size of probably like a normal cinnamon roll. Me right round, baby right round. The warmth in my hand, it's like, the most decadent hand warmer you could ever have. It was like a cold, snowy day. I just want to have one of these in my hand and eat it while walking. Oh my gosh, can you see the golden butter just dripping off of here? This is the first slow-mo that I don't regret doing with you because usually it's just, it's too big of a bite and it makes me really sad. But this, it was all of the butter and the cinnamon just came spilling out and holy, I probably can't say this on camera, but like, I'm on my period, so like, this is really <laughs> like hitting a moment for me. I don't even know if what you could say the difference is between these two, really. I mean, technically it's smaller, so you're, is that a problem? We should just put it out there that we are in the American dream. Um, it's a place, not just like, not just I'm in the American dream. There's some construction happening. It's, it's new, it's happening, so you might hear noises. Um, that's not just the growling of my stomach or Chelsea's. We go to the Bon Bites. I wonder if this will taste any different. So this is the most compact version for you if you're on the go. This is, I am shopping, I got shit to do, my list is too long, I'm gonna pick these up and go. So cute. 
It's also, you kind of get closer to the center of it sooner because it's so tiny. Okay. What I will say is because they're so tiny, there's less obviously of the icing going on and less of the butter, but you are getting four of them. Hard to say. I would want to get a side of the extra bit of the frosting and put that on there. Can I do a hand break? Yeah, a hand wash break. We have the caramel pecan bond. It took 25 years for them to come out with this bad boy. I'm excited. I thought that this was only like a seasonal item, but this is here all the time. That's wonderful. You can just have like a fall morning in the middle of the summer if you want. I can't get over the smell. It smells almost like maple syrup. I feel like this is like a Thanksgiving dessert. Here we go. Oh. <sighs> Are you kidding me? You know what? It's so hefty and thick that the fork is barely able to pick it up. Holy crap. Okay. And that's what you call a pecan roll. That's really, really gorgeous. Holy shit. So I'm gonna curse less, I promise. I told myself I would. I'm going straight for the center again because this is my show, so I do what I want. Mm. I know that there's not alcohol in here, but it almost tastes like a bourbon caramel sauce. It feels like it has just a little extra depth to it. It's like a cinnamon pecan pie in a roll that's very warm. I am gonna say, I think I like the original more. I think this is a lovely switch up, but that original one, that lemony, creamy icing with the butter, I don't know, I think that's what, I can't say no to that. Fruit fly. This fly's. is clearly so good, that, like you're not even paying attention and you're just, you're, you're gonna down that entire thing. Oh yeah, it's, it's so good. It's highly chuggable. Okay, we are at the last thing of this round. We have done a mini roll, a bite roll, a flavor roll, and now we are doing the center of the roll. You can get all of the little pieces of the center of the roll cut into a bowl and just put frosting all over it. This is actually more of an on the go, I don't have any time. This is like probably the cleanest way of eating a cinnamon roll here. That was just like, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. If you don't like getting your hands messy, you don't want frosting in your hair, this really is the way to go. That is incredible. I can't imagine anyone not being a center of the roll person. If I could meet someone who only liked the outside and I like the inside, we'd be a perfect match. We would be married forever. This is truly the way to go. Just cut to the chase and get the center pieces. Favorites, this, this, this. Great. My favorite is the center of the roll bowl, I'm gonna call it, and the original classic Cinna, Cinnabon roll. There's a reason it's a classic. I didn't wanna make it my favorite because I felt like that's so generic and what you would expect, but there's a reason why it's that way. I'm like about to be bond out. I went, I took too many bites. I usually stick to like a one to a one and a half bite rule and I went straight on into three bite rule on this round. I regret none of it though. <laughs> How am I gonna share this with you? Um, I'm gonna eat the mini. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Those are my least liked. Great. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs>
We have the vanilla frozen cold brew. This is like peak me going shopping with my mom as a kid. She would go get her coffee and I would go and get this. And I'd be like, it's the same thing. And my mom's like, no, it isn't. And wow, I would just guzzle these bad boys down. Okay. I don't know if I taste coffee. I taste pure like vanilla, sugary, creaminess, milkiness, maybe a hint of coffee. So if you're not really a coffee lover, you don't like the flavor of coffee, this is the drink for you. I personally love the taste of coffee. I feel like you like vanilla though. You do what, is it? Anywho, I think you would like this though because it's more of that vanilla flavor. Like for me, vanilla is fine. I'm, I'm more like, I feel like there's team, okay, that has to not happen. I feel like there's team vanilla and team caramel when it comes to your coffee flavors, and I'm definitely on the like the salted caramel side of things and the sweet vanilla. So take what you will with my with my review. What we have in front of us is a churro stick. We have the cinnamon sugar on the outside, and on the inside, a caramel apple filling. Oh my god. It's like really apple-y. Apple-y, that's a word. It's like a Granny Smith green apple with the caramel. It's not a red apple flavor. I'm gonna say that the, also it reminds, oh, wait. Oh. <laughs> I need, I need to just, just I think I've said this in a story before where I used to like eat my lip smackers. It was a weird phase I went through. I'm past it now. But I had a green apple one that reminds me of this. I don't even think, did I ever tell you like I ate so many lip smackers that I got sent home from my preschool? Oh no. And my, they, my mom had to come pick me up. <laughs> <laughs> Anywho, that's not what we're talking about today. <gasps> oh, that's such a cute name. Okay, we are doing the Cinna Sweeties, which remind me of donut holes, right? Except these are much plushier because it's that cinnamon type dough instead of that donut dough. Oh my gosh, it's really, oh, it's really, really pillowy. I, I, now I really messed with that one. But you can like squish it. I feel like it's gonna be like melty. And it comes with a frosting cup. Yep, soft donut hole vibes going on here. This feels like real fluffy, almost like that cream cheese frosting that you'd have on a cake. And just be dipping, <laughs> dipping your like, the little sweeties into the into the frosting feels extremely sinful. I regret none of it. Cinnabon sticks, our last thing of this round. So we've had an in a churro form, cookie form, little bites, tiny little rolls. We've seen it in every single iteration. I love seeing it, you know, change over time and it's like a little butterfly. Metamorphosis. Oh wait, can I do a fun fact before I do it? Fun fact, the original Cinnabon roll had raisins and they didn't realize until they started selling them that, that raisins were divisive. It seems like since the beginning of time that raisins have been divisive, but maybe it is something that's new. Maybe it's something that come the 80s, we decided we had, you know, what's it called? A grudge against raisins. Anywho, this has no raisins, it's a stick. Oh. Beautiful. I must say that this one has a crust on it. I don't know if you're gonna be able to hear the sound of it with everything else going on around me. I don't know if you kinda. Kinda. Oh, and it's flaky. It has layers in there. This is different. It's almost like um a Cinnabon stick croissant. Whoa. I don't know if you can get this on camera, but can you see that? Mm -hmm. Wow. I love this. This is really fun and different. I had no expectations with this one. It's a different texture than the rest of the cinnamon Cinnabon world. So I think this is gonna be one of my favorites from this round and the cookie. Sir or ma'am. If you want something that confuses you and then amazes you at the same time, get the cookie. It's only here till November though, so figure it out. Chelsea said that I need water because I am on a sugar high and I, I can feel it where I'm like, Let's go. It's like, you know, the squirrels that bite the wires underneath the cars, that's me. I'm ready for round three. Let's go. Okay, we have a Oreos 
cookies and cream chalada. <laughs> I'm heavy breathing from this. Okay. Ooh. It's not quite milkshake because it tastes a little bit icier. It's like a um, looser McFlurry. It tastes like the Oreos and the milk. If you let it sit in the bottom and you stir it, and you know, kind of, you just kind of let it sit for a bit. That's what that tastes like. <sighs> no. This is my downfall. Strawberries and cream chalada. Look at all that strawberry goodness in the bottom there. Oh, it's beautiful. It's like a painting. Oh, I got a little strawberry chunk. I need to stop making references to other food items I've had, but when we went to Junior's Cheesecake. I was just gonna say, it looks like Junior's. <laughs> we went to Junior's Cheesecake and they had this strawberry like topping. Chelsea's favorite cheesecake is this strawberry cheesecake from here. She actually ate it for breakfast for an entire week straight, fun fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. It looks, it did kind of look like it and it does taste so similar. I wish it had a cream cheese taste to it, so it's almost like a cheesecake in a cup. I think that this is actually better than the Oreo one because it has this really great tanginess to it and there's more of a layer of flavors. So like depending where you put your straw in, you can get more of the cream or you get more of the strawberry. It's also gorgeous, where the Oreo one is pretty much Oreo straight through. <sighs> oh my gosh, and now we are having I think the one that looks the most beautiful, double chocolate mocha chalada. Do you see a fruit fly? No, are oh. these the same? No, they are different. Obviously, Chelsea. What makes you think they're the same? <laughs> <laughs> what would make you say that? This is the double chocolate mocha chalada, and this is the Chex Notes. Mocha latte, <laughs> mocha latte chill. <laughs> so they're both mocha, but one's a chill and one's a chalada. This one has coffee. <laughs> I'm lo I am losing it. Chalada, no coffee. Okay. It's like kind of like um this chocolate flavor I had as a kid that my mom used to put in my smoothies, and it would make it taste like healthy chocolate. It leaves an aftertaste. Yeah. Damn. Okay. It's the most beautiful, but I think that. I think that the strawberries and cream wins, then the Oreo, then this one. We should try this one next. I think it might be missing coffee in it because just having like a mocha flavor without the coffee feels a little like off for me. This one, I'm gonna say it again, mocha latte chill. Oh yeah, and this one has ice cubes in it. Okay. Holy crap. This is so much here. <laughs> yep, it's better. It might also just be better as more of a liquid than it being in a thick milkshake type consistency. I think it's too chocolatey for me. I'm, I, again, I'm more of like caramel salted person and this is more like sweet tooth chocolate, almost brownie like with your coffee. As much as I love my coffee and my sweet things, when they're together like that, it's hard for me to, like I could not imagine drinking this whole thing. We've had so much sweetness that I'm excited to be ending with our frozen lemonades. A raspberry frozen lemonade and then the classic frozen lemonade. I love raspberry, like raspberries, strawberries. I'm just gonna be honest with you. But before I drink this, I, I forgot a fun fact, which is that a bun was created in 1985 in Seattle, Washington. I find that to be interesting mainly because Florida and Texas is just where everything is like spawned from. So, regular frozen lemonade. Ooh. I think going from all the sweetness, this is so tart. I love that. This makes me really want like a salted pretzel or a hot dog. That's incredible. If I was allowed to bring alcohol into this establishment, there would be so much vodka I'd put in there. The raspberry, frozen lemonade. I'm gonna move the straw up. I feel like I don't want that much raspberry, right? This one deserves to have alcohol in it. This, it's screaming, take me to a party. I think I might be a purist with my lemonade. I think I just like the regular frozen lemonade on its own because it's so tart and refreshing. Whatever was on your tongue before, it's, it just like wipes it clean, like almost like a, what is that, a palate cleanser. I would do a smaller size of this one with the raspberry flavor. And again, I would take it home with me, put it in a little cooler, bring it home, have it nice and frozen still, and just put a little nip of whatever in there, preferably vodka. The frozen lemonades win. Those are incredible. Whew. Huh. 
Okay, I might burp and I don't know when it's gonna come and that always makes me so nervous. There's so much liquid and sugar and cinnamon in me. Oh, mm. I'm ready for a nap. <laughs> I feel like after having all this, I'm just like, all right, I can go to bed now. <laughs> Day is over. Thank you so much. God bless it. Yeah. You gotta roll me out of here. I know. All right, I must leave the premises, but before I do, please remember to like, to comment, and tell me where you want us to go next, to subscribe. What else is there to do? Just share, and share the video with, with your mom, or whoever, it doesn't really matter. I have to go. So long, goodbye, oh, and drink, bye.